It's modern segregation. This is setting up a civil war. Burn the circus down, cause the world is full of clowns. They're all stupid and they're proud. Painted smiles on their mouths. I don't hang with bozos, homie. I can't be around you. Anyone who knows me knows my feet don't fit in clown shoes. Fucking cicadas. God. All right, what is going on everybody? It's Ron, we're back down on range three. And before the Dems con people into voting for HR 1808 and we all become felons overnight, I'm gonna talk about my current off body slash backpack gun and my current selection that I have right here. Uh, so let's get into it. Talk about the pros and cons, why I think, especially during this day and age, that you should have a, some kind of backpack carry off body system. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, and this is my EDC or off body carry bag. It's a commuter 2.0. This is a sling bag, so that means it's a so that means it's just a sling, single point. Doesn't look tactical at, at all. But when you need to, you can get to whatever content is inside. Main reason why I purchased it was for the deployment feature. It's no secret that the US has gone fucking mad. With soft on crime bills, I feel like people that own guns and conceal carry need to be learning how to train more than ever. Now, if you are an American citizen, a law-abiding citizen, then this is the video for you. I, I think that we need to carry off body also more than ever, and here's why. I don't care if you're a fucking soccer mom or Tim fucking Kennedy, everyone needs to carry some sort of off body setup. You can carry some sort of medical. Even if you're at the grocery store and there is a threat and you do run towards the threat, you have some sort of medical to help with yourself or other bystanders that have been wounded in that incident. Or it doesn't even have to be like anything to do with guns. It could be you're coming home from work or going to work and you see an accident and you pull over being a good Samaritan, helping your fellow man out and pulling your medical kit out and helping that person out. Soft body armor. Now this is level 3A soft body armor from Premier Body Armor. It's completely custom fit to fit in my computer 2.0. Now why would you have a piece of soft body armor in your everyday carry bag. And let's say, God forbid, you go to the grocery store and there is some kind of altercation when it comes to gun violence. The way this bag is set up, Commuter 2.0, it actually has a sleeve where you can pull out your pistol and have this as a shield and using the soft body armor. Or you can take it upon yourself to go forward towards the threat and give this to your son, your daughter, your family member, anybody. You can put them somewhere safe and they can use this they can use this as a shield and you can go ahead and go towards the threat so another reason to have soft body armor in here there's a multitude of different options that you can use to carry things in your everyday carry off body setup uh, it could be laptops it could be anything but i just use this to carry off body with my medical let's talk about truck guns bag guns whatever the definition in my opinion when someone <laughs> When someone hears the term truck gun, they think they just leave it in their truck overnight and thieves can just steal it. That's completely false. A responsible gun owner always brings their weapon with them no matter what. They don't leave it in the car, they don't leave it overnight. That's just, that's just not being responsible. What I mean by this is, this is my off body carry. Like I went to the zoo the other weekend with my family and I carried this with me on top of my pistol. You guys might call me crazy paranoid. I'm just prepared. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Does that make sense? So basically I'm getting off topic. Backpack guns, truck guns, bag guns are supposed to be in something that is seamless. It's supposed to be something that is naked to the human eye, meaning you're a gray man. You blend in with society. It doesn't look like a gun case or anything like that. So me having the Commuter 2.0, it's a sling. It doesn't really look, doesn't really look like I have anything on me when I'm carrying. Low level concealment, it's easy to deploy. That's why I got this bag super easy to deploy it's 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 great okay so now we're going to talk about my options that i have this is my personal collection this is what i bought so don't take this as a personal hit on anybody oh x guns better x guns better my opinion i want to hear your guys' opinion i want to hear what you guys actually have and what you guys carry every single day or what you're thinking about carrying i love to hear it too i love to give my feedback to you guys but this is like the end all be all setup. This is just stuff that works for me, stuff that I like, stuff that I've experimented with. I've experimented so much that I don't feel like I need to change my backpack gun at all. I feel like I found the ultimate backpack gun. If you watched my video somewhere up in the cards, uh, my EDC video, you already know what that fucking gun is. But we're gonna run through all these other PDWs that I have. So let's get into it starting with number one. And the first gun we're gonna talk about is 
The reason why I got this bag, I literally bought this bag and this PDW together. And that gun is the Maxim Defense MDX. Now, this thing is chambered in 7.62 by 39. Now, I love this pistol. Absolutely love it. Pros and cons of this. Pros, 7.62 by 39. This thing is nasty. Also, I put a Franklin Armory binary trigger in it. I never mentioned that in the past, but yes, I did. This thing is a double tap monster. Also, the Maximum Defense quick detach uh, brace here. It's perfect for coming out of the bag and getting on target. All right, let's talk about the cons. Now, the first con is the magazine. I have three mags that I carry with this. The first mag is a 20 rounder, and the other two are 30 rounders, but the 30 rounder does not fit in here. So that's con number one is capacity. All right, and the second con is weight. This is a beefy boy being 7.62 by 39. And the three mags that I have in here total up to 80 rounds. So 80 rounds, this thing completely loaded out comes, comes weighing in at 15.6 pounds. 15.6 pounds going on a single sling all day is just not comfortable at all. So other than that, I have nothing else to complain about besides the weight factor. All right, let's get into the second gun. And that gun is the PTR 9KT. Now this thing, if you know anything about roller delayed, this thing is extremely soft shooting. Down to the magazine, down to just the small compactability and the very soft shooting, this thing is a badass contender when it comes to backpack guns. Pros, obviously small, compact, roller delayed, very soft shooting. Magazine capacity, yes, this does fit in my bag with the 20 round magazine. You still have a threaded barrel, so you can put a suppressor on here at any time you want. And the way I have it fitted is I actually have it fitted with a brace. So it's actually extremely, extremely comfortable to shoot. All right, so let's talk about the cons now. The con is this brace and capacity. Now, this capacity is purely on me. I only have four magazines of 20 rounds in here, so 80 rounds comes weighing in at 13.6 pounds, which isn't bad for this little guy. But main thing is deployability. So when I pull it out of the bag, let me show you. So when I pull it out of the bag, unlike the MDX, I can't pull on this. It's not quick deploying. You have to press, you have to press this button to pull it like that. It's just an extra second, but you know, that's the only really thing I could say that's a con for this PDW. And if I didn't mention, the PTR 9KT is chambered in nine millimeter. Now we're gonna get into the third backpack gun. We're getting to Call of Duty territory. And that gun is the Chris Vector. Not just any Chris Vector, chambered in 10 millimeter Chris Vector. So this is my Chris Vector. I got this from Modern Warrior, basically just how you see it, uh, minus the optic and the light. Cerakote job was done. Uh, the brace and everything came on it. This thing is a tank. Now what I did specifically with this is I actually fitted it with a binary trigger, which makes this thing a monster at the range. So pros and cons. So we're gonna talk about pros. Pros is, it's, it's a vector, it's cool as shit. The vectoring recoil system makes it super soft shooting even for a 10 mil. Another cool thing is form, fit form and function. This thing is awesome to deploy. It's ready to go. Let's talk about cons. Con number one, it only fits in the bag with the standard Glock 20 15 round magazine. So you're coming out the bag automatically with 15 rounds. The uh, 33 rounder barely, barely makes it. it. It won't, it won't go in comfortably. So you have to start out with the 15 rounder. Biggest con with the Chris Vector is fully loaded out with the four mags in the bag. It's a beefy boy. You're talking 114 rounds of 10 mil, but it's a beefy boy clocking in at 21 pounds. I don't know about you, but I personally don't want to walk around with 21 pounds on a single sling. That's just not conducive to my life. I understand we can always take mags out. You don't have to carry all those mags, but like I said in the beginning of this video, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. 
Okay, last but not least, my opinion, the ultimate EDC gun, and that gun is the PS90. I feel like the FN PS90 is the ultimate PDW, truck gun, backpack gun, whatever you want to say. It's the ultimate personal defense weapon, in my opinion. And the reason why is a few reasons in general. One, it's capacity, right? So you're, you're working with 50 rounds of 5.7 by 28. Also, fit, form, and function, this thing's extremely streamlined. Really, really small, compact. That's what it was designed for, is there's barely any snag points. I put on these extended charging handles, but it is what it is. I, I like it. Uh, I put on, obviously, the Vortex Crossfire. This is extremely nice setup for me. Now, the reason why I have dabbled, obviously, everything you see here, I have dabbled with that bag. Now, I have found the ultimate EDC, in my opinion. It's my opinion alone, just because of, like I said, capacity. I have six magazines of 50. So if you do math, that's 300 rounds of 5.7 in that backpack with medical and the soft body armor. It only clocks in at 9.4 pounds. 9.4 pounds for a PDW with 300 rounds and I have an IFAC in it with soft body armor. You can't fucking beat it. This thing has no recoil at all. It's extremely lightweight. It's the ultimate PDW. All right, so that's basically it, man. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your PDW? What is your backpack gun, truck gun setup? I'd love to hear, love to have some conversation with you guys. But other than that, I'm Ron. This is Down on Range 3. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys take it easy. Be safe out there. Make sure you fucking train. It's modern segregation. This is setting up a civil war. Burn the circus down, cause the world is full of clowns. They're all stupid and they're proud.